Cello Labs, and I'm going to demo how to use Scope to build an exact match sponsored products ad campaign. So just giving some background, kind of the traditional way in build, before building an exact match campaign, um, a lot of sellers would do what, what they do is run an auto campaign. And this is exactly what I did. Um, I kind of just run my campaign in auto. And what that does is Amazon kind of bids for you. And later here in the report section under advertisement reports, you can run a search term report. And so what this does is kind of generates, um, it basically takes that auto campaign and it tells you exactly the customer search terms that Amazon bid on, which helps you kind of understand, you know, which keywords people search for on Amazon. And so through my auto campaign that I spent 70 plus dollars on, you know, I got a solid 40, about 40 keywords from. And so now I'm going to essentially go ahead and build that exact ad campaign using Scope. So before starting, logged in uh, to scope.sellalabs.com and also launched the Chrome extension. And so now I start on um, Amazon.com and what I'm selling is an apple slicer. So I'm just going to search the term apple slicer. So right here, this is my ASIN. You know, I'm not ranked number one. Um, so on this first page, I'm going to use Scope to really identify, you know, what are the best in class Apple slicers selling on Amazon? Who's selling the best? And so right here, uh, estimated sales. No surprise, the ASIN that's in the first position um, in organic search is what's selling the best. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. ASIN. And so what the Chrome extension is doing is accessing the scope database, which essentially has already done a reverse ASIN lookup. And so it's going to be able to tell me every keyword that this ASIN ranks for and also how many sales are coming through for that keyword. And as you can see, I mean, this, this product sells quite a bit, 1,500 units per month, and it ranks for a, you know quite a few number of keywords. So I'm just going to hit download CV, uh, the CSV file which is going to open it up in Excel for me. And now, um, basically, I have these estimated sales. And I have these keywords. So I'm going to go ahead and copy every keyword that has made a sale in the past 30 days for this product. And I'm going to ignore anything that it has zero sales. Um, so I can go right into this ad group, which I already created kind of the setup for an exact match campaign for my Apple Slicer. And then I go into provide own keywords, choose exact match, and just copy those in and add these keywords. So right now I have 55 keywords. So already more than my auto campaign was able to generate. So I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to search um, the next Apple Slicer, best selling Apple Slicer. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to look at what keywords are driving sales and then make sure that those are in my sponsored ad campaign. So once again, Scope is looking through the database. It's doing a, re a reverse ASIN lookup. Um, and look how many keywords that this product ranks for. And But not every single one of them drives sales. So I'm going to go ahead and download the CSV file. And then I'm going to go ahead and only copy the ones that have a sale. And put them into my sponsored ads campaign. Boom, now I have 77 keywords. So once again, looking back at um, my search term report, uh, running the auto campaign was only able to generate you know, 44 keywords. The majority are these random ASINs um, that Amazon will bid uh, for you. Uh, you know, there were still some high quality keywords that it was able to find, but nowhere near the amount that that scope was able to pull out. Um, so, once again, I'm that that is a demo on how to use scope to build an exact match sponsored ads campaign.